Hello YouTubers, Retro Ryan back again for another Tuesday 10 minute teaser. Yeah, back again. Have oh, you been enjoying it so far? I know uh, I'm a few episodes in, slowly warming up to what games I'm playing. It's now starting to play through my collection instead of sticking to the odd one or two favourites. But hey, thanks very much for coming on this journey with me through my collection of the games. You're in it for a while though, because I think I've got, I think about two, three hundred and 235 games, I think, or say, say titles. Obviously, you got some doubles, you know, it's like being a collector. Anyway, if you can see on the screen there, we've got Aladdin. There it is. Oh, that sh I should take it out of the case, really, shouldn't I? Because the shine on it's awful. But uh, yeah, Aladdin. I don't know if you can make out the uh, gameplay on there, but yeah, Aladdin. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever played this. I've seen many videos on it over the years, people playing it, and I know um, Mega Drive version is supposed to be a good one, but is the Master System version any good? Well, graphically, it looks really good on here, so, you know, a nice platformer. We're going to jump in, we're going to have a go, we're going to see how we get on, so, uh, yeah, stick with me on this journey and we'll uh, jump in and have a go. So, let's go. Let's have a blast. Right then guys, let's jump in. Let's see if uh, this game can last 10 minutes. It's very colourful, I know that. Look at the orange, orange on that. I know CRTVs don't film very well, so obviously Well, I have changed the shutter speed, as some people will learn to do, to help it look a bit better. So I'm guessing on this first level, all I've got to do is uh, run and jump. Oh, say jump. Run and jump everything. It's very, it's very uh, clever with the background being perfectly still and... Be at the bottom almost being like on a treadmill. Ah, oh. like back jump. Ah, oh. well, so far I'm not. I'm not showing any skill level at this game, but as I say, I've never played this game before, so. Oh, I was pressing down for some reason, trying to think I could duck, but no, you can't duck. You just run and jump. Let's see if I jump through this so you're not too bored. Same again then, run and jump. Okay, jump the barrel. Now I've stepped up a level now then, I've got uh, a few more obstacles to jump. Jump in the, uh, obviously the gap, oh no, the gap's in the buildings. With my fair maiden at hand. But the colours on it, the orange, orange and red is so, so bright. I, do, I tell you what, playing these old retro consoles, CRTV is definitely, definitely the way forward. Or should we say the way back, obviously back in time. Ah, oh, check out that pole vault. That's some skill. Sorry if you can eat it, the ear is sniffing. I've picked up a little bit of a cold off my daughter. Which, uh, 
is a common cause of uh, most adults colding at the old virus carrier kids at school or nursery. I want to almost read through this, but I kind of don't want to bore you guys. I just want you to see some gameplay, really. There's a lot of chat. I guess you need to keep reading it, but we'll just keep jumping through. What have I got to do here, then? Okay, okay, let's get on with it then. Let's go, 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 go. So, so far, what I can make of this game is, it, it's a bit slow to get going, you're just running and jumping, but graphically, it's brilliant. The colours look spectacular. For an old, old game on an old TV, it, it really does look amazing. But it's how the game plays. I like a lot of action. I like a lot of things going on at once. I think that's pretty much why I like beam ups and uh, subs. To be fair, it's uh, it's a bit slow getting. I think most of the uh, gameplay time of filming this is actually just storyline, isn't it? It's not, it's not the best uh, watching for you guys back at home. It's, uh, hey, at least if you've ever seen this game before, you can visually see what it's like. Ah, oh, this is a bit better. I guess I had to jump on that water or not to go higher. How do you do a big jump then? Well, I don't want to jump that. Ah, there it is. Okay. So we've gone from a uh, running, oh, sugar, a running, uh, scrolling, should we say, run scrolling. So you, right. <clears throat> okay, things are falling on me. So, so if earlier levels, obviously the floor was moving for me. Now I'm actually in control of where I go. So this is uh, me moving left and right. So I, I've got the option of ah. Uh, oh. I can ah. Oh. As you can tell, I definitely haven't played this game before because I'm really showing that I don't know what's going to happen next. So, you know. Right, okay. We'll leave it there then. So, guys. There it is. That was Aladdin. Yes, Aladdin. So, what can I make of that game? I, I've never played it. So, it was interesting. To, it's interesting to play a game for the first time. So, what I'm trying to do with this series is it's almost like I've just been into town, I've brought this back home as a child, or now if you're picking it up now even, you're sticking it straight in, no one reads the manual or anything, they just stick it straight in, they have a go, see how they get on with the game, if they like it or not. So what I thought of that game straight off the bat was, really cool how the background stays still and the, and the ground was just moving. So for an 8-bit, that looks spectacular. Really good graphics, the colours just popped, it's on the CRTV it just popped, it was... I hope it comes across like that on this video because in person playing on the CRT just looks really colourful, really good game. Gameplay wise, for, like the running levels, I really enjoyed that. And then when it got to the, the level where I was in control, where I moved on the screen, not knowing how to play the game, obviously I died pretty sharp as you saw. And so I reckon if I get back on it, have a few games of it, I reckon that um, I'd enjoy the game a bit more. 
What should I say a lot more? So obviously it was just the first time. That's why this is a 10 minute teaser. First go, first 10 minutes, see how you get on, if you like the game. Because normally in the first few minutes of playing the game, you know if you like it or not. And if you'll play it again after you die. So I died at that game after I think probably six minutes of gameplay. Will I go back on it? Yes, I will go back on it. Will I have another go? Of course I will. So yeah. Answer the same question twice, same question twice there, don't I really? But anyway, um, yeah, out of 10, first go on it, out of 10, I give it a, I give it a six and a half, seven awards. I reckon if I get back on it, probably put a couple of hours into it, I'd probably raise it up to probably an eight maybe. But I think it, it's a game that you need to have a few, uh, few hours crack at. I think it's sort of going to be a game that's going to get better as the levels go on. So, there it is. That was my 10 minute teaser my Tuesday 10 minute teaser. So thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing, commenting. Um, just keep coming back guys. Keep coming back and I'll keep banging these out every Tuesday hopefully and get through all, all 235 titles I own. Unless, you never know, because while, while I'm filming this, I might pick up some more titles. You never know. Still pickups to go in there. So that, that collection could grow a little bit more, maybe to full collection. You never know, by the end of this year, I could have the full collection. So I'll keep playing through them. And if I get any letters, say if I get to about, I don't know, H, and then I pick up some A's, I might have to play them back around at the end after I've got to the Z's, aren't I? But yeah, thank you very much, guys. This is uh, Retro Rewind, out. Thanks, guys. Cheerio. That bloody salute.